Today's video is going to be over how to make a 2 meter copper J pole using a 3 quarter inch piece of pipe and one T, one elbow, and two caps. We're going to get right to it and just get to the nitty and gritty. Hope you enjoy. Now, the first step we're going to do is cut our pipes. The pipes that we need are going to be 57 and 13 sixteenths. The next will be 19 and 1 8th. And the last will be one and three quarter inches. Standard pipe cutter. We'll move along, we'll show you the measurements here in a moment. Measuring the short one here. There's our measurements. Now once you get those cut, next thing you that I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna do a quick dry fit. So it's one elbow, one T, the 57 inch piece, the 19 and an eighth inch piece. I'll put those together and just give you a quick dry fit. And that's how quickly you can get that done and finished and uh, ready to go. Next we're gonna move out a piece of sandpaper. I'm gonna sand the ends of all these pieces of pipe, including the caps, the elbows, the T's and everything. That way we can go ahead and apply our flux and smear that liberally on the ends of the pipes and also the elbows, caps, and T. And you're putting the flux on there so that way when you apply the heat, you want to apply the heat to the fitting itself, not to the pipe. So you apply the heat to the cap or the heat to the elbow or so forth. And then once you see a color change take over the the fitting it's like a purpley blue swirly line as soon as that occurs you know that it's hot enough to accept the solder then you'll just take your solder and the moment you touch your solder against that uh, joint there that flux pulls that solder up inside and then it'll suck it all the way around so here we're doing the elbow sorry I'm out of almost out of frame there but you get the idea once uh, we get that done now there's a special technique I used for soldering the two main pieces together after I put on the T in the elbow and I'll switch the camera view here in a moment and you'll see I'm putting on a cap here I'll put on the other cap so there's your two caps. They're, they're on top of the two stubs. The short stub and the long, long stub. Now here's where I use the table to keep the two in alignment. And in between those is of course the one and three quarter inch piece. Now by laying them on the table like this, it keeps the long piece and the short piece flat on the same plane so they don't get out of alignment of each other. There's just little spacers that I use. Those orange dog ears just aren't tight enough to hold it in there. Now here I'm heating up the uh, components there. We'll slap the solder on and that'll be done. And again that's the T in the elbow with the one and three quarter inch piece in between the two. Now here, this thing is called a Budwig BUDHQ1. It has a, a SO239 chassis molded inside a piece of plastic with a copper wire coming out either end, one to the center and one to the, to the threads. I'm bending the arms, they're 90 degrees so it fits on the pipe. The next thing I'm going to do is I'll bend them another 90 degrees so they actually are in line with the pipe themselves. Just bending them up straight so you see that they're perpendicular to the piece of plastic itself. Or parallel, I guess, whatever side you're looking at. Next, we're going to get a 3 quarter inch hose clamp. Put it around the copper pipe and around the copper wire. But I think first we're gonna sand it. We're gonna sand the uh, pipe here. So we're gonna sand where the actual pipe makes uh, contact with the uh, wire there. And you can solder it if you wish. 
I don't. I just sand it down, use the hose clamp, tighten her down, and I haven't had a problem yet. And I place that connector about two inches up from the horizontal. Then you can align those hose clamps so that the screws face in, face out, whichever direction you like. I prefer if they face out. And once it's done, that's the two sides hose clamped on. Now, if you don't have a Budwig HQ1, you can also just use the coax itself. You just strip the coax down, put the shield to the short stub, and the uh, center conductor to the long stub. And uh, there's a third way. SO239 chassis, piece of plastic, and the same. Shield to the short or the black to the short, red to the long. And that's it. How to make a J-pole. I hope that those answered uh, any questions that you have. Hope that you come back and uh, watch more videos.